Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are back in the town. Now today is going to be a more of a viewer creation episode. I am going to install some of this stuff in the town, and there's a couple items that aren't for the town. I just thought they were really cool that you guys have been sending me. Now tomorrow, I am currently working on something uh, in a different map. It's a map that you guys have been requesting that I go back to. So I'm going to do an episode of that tomorrow. And then we'll come back to the town. I think I'm going to work on that military base. Now what you're seeing in the background is the neighborhood from the last episode. You guys were so fantastic about sending me suggestions for names that I couldn't decide on what I wanted to name it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a poll. I'll probably have it in the corner here. And vote on which name you want this neighborhood to be called. Uh, you guys, like I said, it was tons of suggestions. And so I picked out the ones that got the most upvotes or the ones that I liked. So they'll be in that poll box, and then we'll unveil that in the next town episode. But anyways, you can see the house at the end of the neighborhood here. We're going to check that out. I've got some cool vehicle creations. But yeah, let's uh, jump right into this. Alright, well we've got some awesome vehicles here. Of course, I pointed out the uh, Henry house. Uh, he's an amazing uh, modern home builder, so we're going to check that out. This is actually a moving van by Scrubmaster. So say we just added these houses to the town, somebody's moving in. Uh, you kind of need a moving van. Now this thing is actually really, really cool. It's got a lot of features. You can see the spider web here. It's got a uh, folding ramp. Let's go ahead and open it up. So say we uh, pulled up, we've parked where we need to actually unload at. Actually, you know what? Let's go over there. It'd make more sense being closer to the house. So let's hop into here. Uh, as you can see, the inside's pretty detailed. You got this little, uh, I don't know why you'd hang a shoe up from there. I think it actually rocks. Let's, uh, let's close all the doors here. Uh, oh, that's the radio. Okay, so we're going to drive forward, and oh, you know what? It's got working blinkers. Okay, so say if we hold the A key. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so, oh, this is going to be a little bit of a tight fit. I hope he has suspension glitches in here. Uh, no, he does not. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead and pull it back out. Yeah, I didn't think about this uh, for moving vans. It's a little bit of a tight street, but we're going to make it. We're going to run over somebody's curve, and we're going to probably hit their mailbox, maybe their fence, but anyways... Let's go ahead and drive into here, but yeah, you can see the uh, blinker activated, you just hold A and D. Uh, you can probably see the gates down there. He's got quite a few logic gates on the bottom of this, so anyways, we pull into here. Alright, so we've just started to move into our brand new modern house, so let's go ahead and open up. Oh, wrong door. Which door is it? Oh, actually, I think the door's stuck. This has been happening a lot more recently. Uh, let's place a block down. And by the way, don't be alarmed that you see modded parts in my inventory. It is because I'm working on the other map as I stated. Okay, so we've acquired a brand new modern house. Let's go ahead and open this up here. So Scrubmaster has a really neat system here. I think, uh, which one do we do first? Uh, let's do this one first. Here comes the folding door, which that's actually a really cool way to make it fold up. And he's got this. Boom. We've got a ramp. So you can get your dolly, you can go up and down here, unload your boxes. That is really creepy having all the farm bot signs right there. Uh, I normally don't like cutting into these, but what is behind this? Just the wall? Oh, you know what? That's actually very clever. He's covering up uh, the paint. So you've got the moving paint on the side. It wouldn't show through the other side. So he put the farm bot signs up. You know, I never thought about doing that. That's uh, really clever. But yep, it drives nice. Uh, you, obviously, you can see all the... All the stuff down here, there's the ramp system, it's a uh, bearing so it just kind of pushes it out. You know if Scrap Mechanic would give us a piston, this would be a lot easier to do. Uh, you've got that, there's the gates, I don't know really what that's doing. Uh, actually, you know what, he might have, no, he doesn't have a suspension glitch. Oh, that's the time, I think that's hooked up into the, uh, to activate the turn signals, okay. So yeah, that's a really cool truck, obviously he uh, sent that to us, and he sent us that uh, house over here, this one. Really nice. He also, if you recall, a while back, he sent us a big theater, and I really want to put it in this town. I just got to find a spot. That thing is absolutely huge. I'll link that episode in the description, because it's a fantastic looking theater. But anyways, let's go ahead. We're going to check out this house. I love houses in Scrap Mechanic, and Henry, who built the uh, the modern house from the last episode, you can see it over there. Uh, that's the one with the uh, Lamborghini and all that. So that's that, and he sent us a new one. Now this thing is really deceiving looking. This is actually, I believe it's like three or maybe even four stories. Uh, let's wander in. I really love the outside, like that modern look, the mixture of the glass here, 
uh, the way he's mixed in the bricks, the concrete, you've got the big pillar here. This is fantastic looking. But uh, yeah, I welded it down so it is permanently here in this spot. I added a little driveway. You've got the uh, sidewalk here. You walk up, hit these sensors. Boom! Automatic doors. Kick your shoes off here. Alright, what do we got? Oh, this is nice. This is nice and compact. I don't know. I'm one of those people, like I love the look of modern houses, but I also like a compact house. Like I don't really need a lot of room. I don't know what it is about houses where everything's just kind of together. I, I love it. It's just like everything's within reach, easy to keep clean. And how do I get over there? That uh, that fridge is kind of hiding. Now, let's see. Is it in here? Come on. <gasps> yep, there's a duck. Got a duck. Gotta have ducks in the fridge. So there's that. You got a nice dining area here. I might be stuck. There we go. Uh, I've got a little kitchen island here. Looks like we've got maybe a oven or dishwasher. Actually, the oven's probably over here. Uh, what's behind this door? Ah, bathroom. Oh, okay, that's on a timer. You know, I forgot his other house had timers too, so let me walk in. Clear the door. Let it close. So, uh, yeah, you've got a nice walk-in shower here. That's cool. Uh, toilet. All the little details. Let's see. Ooh, how do I get out of here? Oh, I need to be on this side. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty tight house. Uh... But it's really vertical, so let's see. Those are the uh, doors to the outside, the backyard. Uh, let's go. What's this? Oh, okay. So it's a sensor on one side and it closes the front door on the other. That's cool. All right, let's go upstairs here. Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. You see, there's the uh, next set of stairs. Uh, let's see. That's okay. This is like an overview. You've got a little balcony in here. You can see the uh, first floor. We've got a living room here. Ooh, I really like how you slanted these windows out. That's uh, that's really neat looking. You see them on the controller there. The controllers are all on that pillar outside. And you can see how you slanted the uh, windows out. That's really nice. Really nice. Uh, you've got a TV built into the wall here. You've got all the pillows up here. That's a pretty big couch. You've got a little coffee table, recliner. Uh, what would this be? All right, here's our first bedroom here. Okay, that's not on a timer. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. That confused me. Uh, not the door closed. This is actually uh, this is actually a closet here. He had a lot of closets in the uh, house over there. That's a, uh, it's pretty cool. So you've got that. Got your bed. Got your computer here. Everybody's got computers in the rooms. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is like a leisure room or a, a game room. Uh, you've got a pool table here. You've got these nice lights. This has a really nice view. Wow, I didn't realize that. Uh, you can see the modern house he sent us last episode. There's the Scrub Master house. I've got something uh, across the uh, field there I want to show you guys. It's really not town related, but it's it felt kind of good, even though I'm pretty sure they didn't know my birthday's coming up, but it's a little animatronic birthday uh, farm bot. It's pretty cool. So let's go. What is this? Um, ah, this is the balcony. Okay, this has got a nice view too. You know, I'm still debating on what I'm going to do with that big cliff behind us. You guys have given me tons of suggestions for it, but they're all so good, so I don't really know which one to go with. Uh, the military base, I talked a little bit about it. It's going to be in one of the corners, so it wouldn't be that. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, this is where you set the uh, pool sticks. Okay. Uh, I think I've been into the here. No, I haven't, actually. This is another bedroom. Oh, this is like a, uh, this is a bed for two people. A room. Maybe this is a kid's room. I normally like to cram the kids all in one room here. It's got a nice uh, set of windows here at the top, so you, you'd have a really cool or really nice looking view here. I'm curious where he, uh, or how he designed this, where he found the design, or... I don't know, normally when I design houses or design buildings, I get some reference pictures, and... Oh, that's a ladder. I don't think I can get up that. Let's uh, put this down here. So yeah, I normally get reference pictures for all of my buildings, and then just kind of go off that. I wonder if that's what he's doing or if he's just designing these because these are really nice looking. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the roof. This is a it's quite a drop there actually. See the uh, architecture here. You've got the uh, windows. We've got a maybe a little garden here on top. Uh, looks like some vents for the air conditioning units. Yeah, pretty cool. Guess we're just gonna hop off here. There we go. All right, this is a 1955 Buick made by Nano Panda. This thing looks pretty darn cool. 
I love the grill on it. He did a really good job with the uh, vanilla parts here. You've got the brick in the background. Kind of looks like the grill. Uh, you've got the big bumper on it. These old cars were tanks. They were built big. They're bulky. They're heavy. Uh, but this actually looks good. Uh, let's look at the back real quick. Oh, I like how you hit the wheels there. You've got that. You've got the big back trunk. You've got the huge bumper on it. Now he's got the little buttons as the tail lights. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's try this out real quick. He's got a gate in there. I'm pretty sure that's just to uh, make it where you can open and close the door from both sides, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So let's hop in here. Okay, the one key door, two key door, three key hood. Ah, look, there's some engine detail. That's pretty cool. Okay. All right, question is, how does she drive? I didn't see any suspension glitches there. And, oh, oh, it's got some pickup. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. You know, I have to say, this drives pretty darn good. Uh, it doesn't have any sort of suspension glitch. It's going straight off of... Actually, it doesn't even look like it has suspension. Maybe that's why it's turning so good. I don't know. It's like it's not even digging in. And, oh, might have hit a curve there. But yeah, this is a very, very nice vehicle. Like I said, it drives pretty good. It's got some speed. That bouncing that you see, that's just because the way the game interacts uh, with the concrete... That's always really bugged me that it does that. I don't understand it. It's like, this is a completely flat surface. Why does it... Oh, crud. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that in the town. We're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna have to have a bridge or something. Uh, let's go ahead and hop out here. Actually, let's take this back up here. Yeah, I'm gonna create a bridge right in this area. When I was building this road out, I didn't realize, like, oh, there's a huge dip there. So, we'll build a bridge. And it's so weird how stuff drives so much nicer on the bumpy terrain grass like it's almost like it you've got more control on this than you do on flat concrete so that never really made sense hopefully they fix that because that makes it really hard to build race tracks and all this other good stuff i know you guys have been wanting to see a drag strip in here and that's the one thing that i'm really worried about is the whole fact that you're not going to be able to go down it too fast because it's going to be so bumpy but yeah that is a very nice car i want to thank nano panda for sending that to me Alright, so this is a happy birthday animatronic farm bot thingy sent to me by Cheeseburger43. And it's kind of weird because my birthday is here in a couple weeks. So I'm, I'm excited about it. Well, I am and I'm not because I'm getting older. But uh, yeah, having a birthday in December kind of sucks because it's always so close to Christmas. I know that sounds really spoiled. But I remember as a child, I was like, man, it's like I almost feel like I'm getting gypped on my birthday. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, try this out. Actually, let's look at the spider web. Okay, looks like we've got a bunch of, what are those? Those gates? Looks like gates at the bottom. Possible tote bot head right there. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of excited to see this work. I think, I guess I'm supposed to set the birthday chair here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna click the one key. Ah, here comes the curtains, and looks like there's a farm bot back there, okay. Uh, what does this do? I think I'm supposed to hit the three and the four together, so let's try it. Uh, I'm probably gonna shut up for this that way you can actually hear it. Hopefully it's loud enough. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, that almost feels nice. It's like something singing happy birthday to me. And okay, uh, what does the two key do here? Oh, oh, I guess it just kicks him off stage, okay. That's pretty cool. You know, I never have been able to really use these things. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, so there's Mr. Farmbot. He's upside down. And here's all the tote bots. Uh, there's timers here. There's all your logic gates. That's always... Uh, I don't know, that boggles my mind a little bit. I, I play music, but something... The way these tote bot heads are used together... I think he's got some other creations on his workshop. Uh, it's those music boxes or those little little trains that go up and down uh, sensors with the uh, tote bot heads and it plays a song. Now, I've never quite figured those out, but that's really cool. Uh, I almost feel like that was sent to me for my birthday, even though it probably was completely unrelated because you guys didn't know when my birthday was, but that is really awesome. So I want to thank Cheeseburger43 for sending that to me. All right, so I have one more creation that we're going to check out here today. Now, I do have a backlog of these creations. I still haven't been able to go through all of them. So if you didn't see your creation here today, don't be sad or anything because it's probably because I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I will flash my email up on screen if you want to send me anything. I'm more than willing to look at it. 
but this was a and I'm gonna just put this up on screen because I cannot say this name I know I'm gonna completely murder it so uh, this is a sled and there's his name I'm gonna flash it up on screen also and I'll link his workshop I, I don't know what that is that could be I don't even want to say what country that might be from uh, I have to read the email again that he sent me but this thing is fantastic now this creation is using modded parts like I said I have the modded parts out for the uh, the build tomorrow but this thing is probably one of the fastest creations that I've ever experienced now it's not too complicated here I think this might be like a stabilization glitch or I don't want to call it a glitch maybe a module uh, there's a rocket down there which has got an extreme amount of power there's a suspension glitch right there so yeah we're gonna hop onto this nice little cozy sled or whatever you want to call it and yeah here is it turning now let's uh let's find a straight shot here probably over there so just gonna hit the w key here and here we go oh yeah it doesn't like bumps uh, this is probably better done on a flat map oh let's hit the one key here we're gonna take off this thing is absolutely insane. This reminds me a little bit of the uh, Brent Batch Flyer I used to locate a lot of viewer creations. I can't even see anything anymore. Wow. It's got that one thruster that sends you just straight up in the air. And that's a, that's a powerful thruster. I have to check which ones those are. Uh, they might have a upgraded power. I know some of the Durf pieces have a uh, higher powered thruster in there. But this thing is insane. I actually kind of want to make a course for these in like a flat world. Maybe we could do that as a challenge. This thing is so satisfying to drive around. As you can see, the game can't even keep up. It's trying to load stuff into the world. Now you can see all the rocks and the trees appearing. Let's get going really fast here. That's awesome. Uh, see, the one key shoots it up. Okay, so we've already gone over there. What's the two key do? Oh! Oh, he's got one of those little lasers in here. That's a cool little piece. All right, let's locate the town here. Oh, that's a tree. That's another tree. <laughs> okay, this might be a little too fast for me. Uh, let's see where... I think the uh, buildings are over there, so let's go ahead and get back in that area. There we go. Whoa, well, here we are. Oh, that actually looks really good from up here. I didn't realize how that neighborhood looked. That's cool. You can see that. You can see the go-kart track. You can see the... Uh, the bus station. Now, I've got another lot open here. I've got something that I'm going to build next week. Uh, this isn't related to the military base. I also want to start it up. I've actually started a couple parts for the military base. It's not here in the town. It's in a flat map. And I'm going to stick them on lifts. That way I can get some of the stuff on the workshop. But yeah, we've got a lot of stuff we're going to do. Like I said, uh, this is just a view, more of a viewer creation episode. Uh, because I'm building something tomorrow in another map that I think you guys are going to be pretty happy with. So yeah, we'll return to the town. I kind of took a little bit of a, a break from it this week. Of course, we're still doing this here today, but just for me building in it. So I'll return to the town early next week if you want to join us for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode today. Like I said, if you want to ever send me something, viewer creation-wise, I'm more than happy to look at it. I flashed the email earlier, and I'll have the email in the description. But hope you guys have a good day, and we'll see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you!